The first link below this video will be to the climate change playlist. The premise, climate change is real. But the one-sided mindset of the IPCC has caused nearly two decades of failed projections in both global warming and sea level rise. The notion that climate change is even an issue has come under attack because of this. But rather than scream yes or no, or propagandist or denier, I'd rather seek out the holes and try to show why climate change is a big deal. The longest video in this list explains the lack of focus on the long-term trends in solar activity, along with evidence of its effect throughout the solar system, not just meteorologically, but in terms of planetary rotation. We now have evidence that the changes in Earth's rotation may be highly dependent on solar activity, and this comes via major planetary oscillations that are known for driving the climate, the North Atlantic Oscillation and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. We take a look inside the pulled funding, censorship, and threats to those who do not tow the propaganda line. Weather Channel founder John Coleman, European guru Lennart Benson, Professor Lindzen, Scafetta, Robert Carter, dozens of other researchers formerly welcome at the IPCC. One of the top names, Professor John Christie, continues dealing with utterly childish behavior from his peers. We have heard a Harvard professor's take on scientific integrity at the IPCC, where their loyalties lie. Had a little fun with some music, showed some of the primary ways the sun affects the climate, including with cosmic rays, and then it became necessary to just keep our eyes open day to day as many scientists began searching for answers as to the failures of the science thus far. We now hope to update this page early in each month with the new news some of which you've seen in the past month and some will be new. Now we're including a correction to the flawed solar analyses that wrote it out of the climate change equation long ago. This one doesn't officially come out for months actually and builds on some of the explorations into the flawed global climate modeling, the main source of the failures thus far. In this new study, we find that much of the premise behind the solar non-factor conclusion were based on averaging and some pretty bad assumptions. We've discussed how the highest solar activity decades were during global warming and how the warming failure occurred as the sun began to go silent. Even speculated about the likelihood of a weaker period for our sun on the horizon with increased cosmic rays leading to more clouds, higher albedo, and a cooler climate. Turns out that the experts are now predicting exactly that, at least for the coming cycle. All signs point to another extremely weak minimum, cosmic ray surges and all. We've already seen the patterns continuing throughout this solar maximum, which has been more of a solar moderate by all accounts. This shutdown may be on our very doorstep. The Arctic sea ice continued its summer decline, well below average in the satellite time, but well above the record lows set a couple years ago. Meanwhile, the Antarctic ice is definitively at record highs. If you are new to this and only heard about the rapid melting of the western sheet on the news, see July's climate update for a full explanation. Despite desperate cries of error from some of the most prominent global warming advocates, the NSIDC, NASA, and NOAA stand by the record high Antarctic ice, which holds true for every time of year by comparison. After a fairly warm start to July, the remainder was shockingly cold throughout an enormous portion of the United States. While areas of the West remained hot, more than half the country experienced record or near record lows. We took a look at the actual records broken. Heat comes in third place behind precipitation and the cold records. That's on both the daily and monthly scale and goes back more than a year now. It's not just the United States feeling this climate extreme situation and that does include both hot and cold, drought and flood. Europe has watched a sliver of extreme heat surrounded by large swaths of below average record cold for this time of year. Parts of Australia and New Zealand got to see three different seasons in the last 30 days. We gave a solid primer on the sun and the climate a few weeks ago with the Barberton Herald, but didn't get a chance to go next level with some of the news, like how people can make climate data say whatever will get them more funding or a pat on the back from the UN, how all of these facts and revelations about climate change are being censored by the mainstream media in general. More and more former sheep removed the wool from their eyes and are seeing the facts. The locational studies based on local expertise appear to be showing our failures and our future more than ever. Humans are a problem, and then we started polluting. But when it comes to the climate, our failures, and our future, grab a jacket and keep your eyes on the sun. Be safe, everyone.